pressure is on. The A-level chemistry papers are in less than one month and you might be on a low grade and thinking, I need to get help. I need to get out the trenches. So here I am trying to help you out to get out the trenches. So this video is just a step-by-step -step guide of, you know, if you're on a low grade, so let's say uh, E, C, D, B, and you want to get an A or an A star. These are the things that I would do if I was in your position. See, me, last year, 2023, I got three stars. A star in chemistry, of course. So, not qualified to tell you, <laughs> I would say. Um, just a dis like a disclaimer before I do start. This video can be used by anybody who's doing any exam board, really. Uh, yeah, I did OCRA, but doesn't matter. Steps still apply to you. Right, let's just take a minute. Just take a minute for these great boundaries. Let's say you want a C and you need an A, right? But like, I can't miss out my uni offer. I need to get the grade. I don't care. I need to get it. But you need to see what battle you're going to fight in. So let's say in AQA, chemistry, you on a C, but you need an A. How many marks is that going to be an increase off? That'll be 74. But OCRA is 80. Guys, a long day. That's a lot of marks. Genuinely, that's a lot. But of course, it's across, you know, across three papers, but it's so much. You might be very disheartened right now and quite frankly overwhelmed. However, I just want to speak about something before we actually get into the steps, and it's that these are some comments that I got underneath some of my YouTube videos. Um, and I'm here to address them, you know? So I don't need to read them to you. You can understand what the vibe <laughs> is <laughs> um, with chemistry at the moment with some people. And there's somebody <laughs> commented this saying, I left the frying pan and now become the cook, which I love. Okay, this energy is something you guys need to implement right now. Because yeah, you might feel like this is this is so impossible. I can't increase my marks by that much. But what I have to say to that is just keep swimming. As in, don't try and look backwards, don't try to look to the side, just keep swimming straight. And then ultimately you're gonna arrive to a place much further away from where you started, and that's all that matters. So let's just streamline our thinking and our mentality into just going forward instead of like being apprehensive instead of overthinking, being overwhelmed, which is completely normal, by the way, but it's not increasing your mark. So let's just put that to the side <laughs> real quick and uh, focus on what we can do. Right, cool. So we have three steps, yeah? Step one, know all the content. Step two, focus on specific exam questions. And three, pass papers. Right, let's begin. Know all the content. <sighs> Chemistry. Chemistry is so unbelievably like repetitive and predictable. Like you, I can open up a paper one and tell you what's going to come up because it's the same topics every time. And the questions are the same. Like how many times can they ask you a different version of enthalpy changes? They can't, exactly. So if you even focus on one topic, just one topic, you can increase your marks by a lot. So now imagine you did that for two topics, three topics, and you get my point. So use YouTube, guys. Honestly, I'm so indebted to YouTube channels, to YouTube itself, for my A-levels. It's just fantastic. Really, really is fantastic. And it really helps to hear somebody else talk through um, questions or content, uh, opposed to like reading it online or something. So here are some channels that you can use. If you're doing OCRA, we've got these two channels. My chem guy, I'll speak about, speak about him in a little bit. But uh, yeah, these two channels really helped me out. If you're doing AQA, these are two channels I also found. Um, but of course, there are so, so many more. Uh, so just, you know, take a fancy and just search up what you want. But you know, <laughs> the thing is, because there's so many videos out there, just pick one or two people and just go with them. And once you're done with them, maybe pick another YouTuber. I'm just saying that in case you get overwhelmed by the sheer amount of um, videos there are online, which is a very positive uh situation to be in yeah <laughs> anyways step number two focus on specific exam questions guys you need to increase by like 80 marks if you're trying to go from a c to an a 80 marks so you need to prioritize 
Prioritize what's going to come up and what's going to stay the same. So here are the things I would focus on. These aren't really in order per se, but these are the things I would put at the top of my list to start working on. Um, yeah, so we have number one, enthalpy changes. Two, whole uh, organic synthesis route. Three, all of the organic mechanisms. Acids and bases calculations, which should have had a closed bracket at the end, but we don't talk about it. <laughs> um, number five, rates, uh, rates of reaction. Six, um, infrared and NMR questions. Seven, bonding, and continue on from that. This is not just a list that's just limited to, to these topics. There's many, many more. But you might be thinking, yeah, okay, relax. I get what you mean. Like, you need to focus on these topics. But what do you mean? So, look. We have this question, right? Uh, let's flip this color. Okay. Explain how increasing the temperature increases the rate. Boltzmann distribution. This this is such an easy topic. Easy three marks. Okay. Focus on this. Rates. This is a A2 topic. The steps are the same every time. Compare, experiment, this and this. This is the increase or this is the multiple that has gone up in for this concentration so the rate is also increased by this much therefore you know the order of reaction is this like it's such easy stuff and like if you literally quite frankly just did two questions like two questions properly you'll be able to do these questions forever maybe not forever maybe not until exams are finished but you know um and then here and there'll be changes again easy easy stuff just learn it once you can do it all the time then we have um like analysis, uh, spectroscopy analysis, again, easy marks. And the thing is, these come up every year. You will never catch a paper without this. So if you just learn it the first time, and it is easy mark. Okay, these are just singular skills that come together to form bigger skills. Uh, what else? What other questions do I have? Ah, yes. Again, KC equilibrium, maximum equilibrium yield. Da, 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 da. Again. Learn it once, you're always going to know it. Mechanisms and organic stuff. I'm going to repeat myself, aren't I? They're the same every time. Oh, this is this is good. This is very positive. Um, like the like the mechanism here. Learn it once, you always know it. What else do we have? Oh yes, chemical test, easy memorization stuff. Chemical test. These ones, these ones, these ones. If you just know your synthetic route, then you can just do them easily because you'll know what it converts into. If you're stuck, like, if you go on my first chemistry guide, um, I put up, like, how to, like, what to memorise, and this was one of them. And for, like, OCRA, even if you just search up, really, you'll be like, oh, my God, synthetic route, OCRA, A-level. Uh, it'll come up with a whole PDF. and Do it for your own exam board as well if you don't take that. Just, just rote memorise it. Um, yeah, easy, easy marks, easy marks. So that's good. But you might be thinking like, okay, I respectfully understand that these are the things I should probably start focusing on if I want to increase my marks a lot ASAP. But I just don't understand how to answer it. Well, my chem guide comes into the picture. If you want exam question walkthroughs, but focus on how to approach the exam questions, his videos are the best. We love him. <laughs> um, so, like, for example, right, let's say you were doing equilibrium. He has 11 videos doing exam questions on it. <clears throat> so that means you can just, you know, pause the video, try it, and then just watch it and listen to his explanation, which is perfect, because you're going to increase the amount that you understand in, like, literally a few minutes. Okay. <clears throat> Step three... Past papers. <laughs> this is not a video about me saying past papers, is it? But it's just, you know, to um, bring all the topics together and you essentially just need to just rinse and repeat, like, finish them all. Okay? But the thing is, right, this, you know when I said in step one, like, focus on the content and stuff? It's because in chemistry, they don't really overlap the content. Biology, they do. But chemistry, not really. If you just even learn singular topics... You'll be fine with the past papers because they are each question is singular. Um, yeah, just please make sure you've done your past papers because you need to understand the wording of the mark scheme and you need to understand like 
the overall vibe of the papers because you don't want to go into your exam and thinking um <laughs> what's going on you want to be prepared before that right so past papers are a must a must 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 and hopefully you're going to increase your marks like so much so 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 much of course you know just watching this video is not enough you actually need to implement what i'm saying um and then hopefully you'll see the results and lastly <laughs> less thinking more working as I said earlier, just keep sewing, right? Just keep going forward. And you do not have to be extreme. You don't need to be doing like these 12 hour like um, study days. If you want to, go ahead. Like, I mean, I'm not to stop you. But you just need to be consistent. Don't think, oh my God, I'm just going to write for two hours right now and like not touch chemistry until three days later. No, what? No. Be consistent because the more consistent you are, the more you're in, you know, you're learning more and then you can build upon the skills and the of things that you've learnt uh, um, exponentially and fast. That's what you just need to do is really fast. And remember, before exams do start, like make a reminders list of common things you forget, or you know, if there's specific like wording that you need to write for entropy, write it down in your reminders list. It can be paper, it can be your notes, it could be anything. Okay, you don't have to be extreme. You just need to be consistent, and that is the guide on. You know, how to go from a low grade to a high grade in A-level chemistry in less than one month.